Joining me now, representing Georgia's first congressional district, Congressman Buddy Carter. Mr. Congressman, this is an issue that parents care about, not just because it's Republican talking points or Republican commercials. They've actually seen the, cur the curriculum for themselves while their kids have been studying at home due to COVID. Absolutely, and this is something that's not going to be tolerated by parents. CRT has no place whatsoever in our educational system. I mean, it looks at, uh, it looks at everything, looks at the world through the prism of, of racism and, and is divisive. And look, the only division that should be being taught in our school system is in math, certainly not through CRT. It has no place in our schools. It has no place in our military. And it's something that we've got to get rid of. Now, look, I've got a vested interest in what happens in Virginia. I've got grandchildren in Virginia, so I'm very concerned about this, and I'm very aware of what's going on here. Terry McAuliffe is trying to shut parents out of the process. Not only do they have a right to be involved, they have a responsibility to be involved. So I'm glad to see what's happening in Virginia. I'm glad to see this uprising, if you will, of parents who are concerned about what their children are being taught. Well, it's so sad because especially since COVID, students were studying via Zoom, and education has really suffered because of it. You talk about math and science, graduation rates, this has gone down, but we're not having that conversation. We're not talking about actually helping kids. Instead, it's all these wishy-washy subjects that people care about making the next generation woke. Absolutely, and we need to get back to reading and writing and arithmetic, the things that really should be being taught in school. Look at the proficiency standards in the state of, te of Virginia, as well as in other states that are under Democratic leadership that are trying to do this very same thing, and that is to have government control to teach these things like CRT. They're all losing ground. They're all deteriorating as far as their standards go. We used to have so much respect for the state of Virginia, thinking that it was one of the academic leaders in our country, yet through the democratic leadership that they've had in, in past years, you see that their numbers, their, their proficiency numbers are, de clean, are declining, and that is something to be concerned about. It really is amazing the Democrats have staked the whole election on this issue, because when you look at it, the primary stakeholders in education, if you ask voters, do you want it to be the parents or teachers? There's a lot more parents out there than there are teachers out there, and we love our teachers, but this isn't about the teachers. This is about the teachers' unions working with the federal government and the state government to brainwash the next generation. No question about it. That's why I offered an amendment during the markup of the um, human infrastructure bill, the tax and spend $3.5 trillion bill that the Democrats are proposing right now. I offered an amendment that would prohibit federal funds from going toward the teaching of any CRT. Well, you know, the Democrats tried to deny that it even existed. The majority Democrats on the committee, they didn't even want to say it existed. I produced for them a resolution that had been passed by the Conference of Mayors in forcing CRT to be taught in our schools. At first, they didn't even want to accept the resolution, saying that it was false. When I finally proved that it did indeed come from the website off of the Conference of Mayors, they finally accepted it. But this is just, again, the Democrats trying to have control over from cradle to grave over our citizenry. And I'm telling you, these parents are not going to take this. I mean, you want to see somebody get upset, you see somebody get upset about their children. The Democrats target, it is the next generation, it's the children, because they want to take it over. Nancy Pelosi always says, this is for the children, but in reality, they want our children. That's what their ultimate goal is, because then they control the whole rest of the country. As Ronald Reagan said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction, and they want it to go extinct, which is just a frightening thing to see. But Mr. Congressman, keep the faith, keep fighting, and we're all our eyes are definitely on Virginia, because we want to see the right thing done. Thank you.